What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jared and today guys this is a much anticipated video. Those of you that follow me on Instagram already have seen it. Well most of it I did cover up the exact inlet to the compressor housing but the box that you guys saw in the previous video was indeed a turbo. Many of you guys guessed it. Apparently I'm not nearly as mysterious as I once thought I was but we did get a turbo. I want to give a huge shout out to Turbo Time USA who is sponsoring the channel. But first, before we actually reveal the turbo and I tell you all the specs, guesses what size turbo did I go with? That Power Stroke bloke, he was guessing pretty hard on Instagram and uh, didn't quite get it, but he did get close. This turbo should take us to the over 600 horsepower mark, which is the next goal for the truck. Those of you know we are, despite a bad dyno performance, we should already be in the 500s based on track times and such. So this turbo is supposed to take us to our next goal and final goal for this truck before we get into a new project truck that will come to the channel at that time. So without me talking anymore guys, get those guesses down below and here we go. We still have it covered up here. And here it is. Here is the turbo. I'm going to quick get this out of the bag. So here it is. Here's the new turbo. It has a nice uh, gloss black powder coat on it. It is a 10 blade turbine wheel. So it's the 03 Powermax style exhaust housing on this. This turbo is their Predator Velocity Port 66 millimeter turbo. So this here, those of you that are familiar with Velocity stacks, typically they mount on the outside. They're for people that run turbos without a filter. And uh, the idea is that it helps pull the air or push the air in to the turbo in a smooth, in a smoother fashion, I should say. So basically what they've done is they've recreated that here, but still have the ability to hook up to your intake because most people with these trucks obviously aren't running them wide open like that. For this billet wheel itself, it is a 66.2 by 92 compressor wheel. So this is a good bit larger than the Powermax that I have currently on the truck, yet smaller than the 68 millimeter a lot of guys do run. And actually, these guys make a turbo up to 72, 72 or 71 millimeter in this similar fashion. The wheel we have here, we got a billet uh, dual plane wheel. I'm very excited. I know you're not supposed to do that, but I'm too excited I had to. And actually, I don't know how well this is showing up, but it's like kind of like a rounded top to this. I thought that was kind of cool. I haven't seen that before. Uh, not saying no one else does it. I just personally haven't seen it, so I thought that was cool. This powder coat looks absolutely killer. This velocity port, I think this is really cool. I haven't seen anybody necessarily try to do exactly what they're doing here like this really is something a little different i haven't seen anybody take the classic <clears throat> the classic compressor style that it, this is and kind of make it new and give it something a little different so i really liked that that's what really drew me in was these kind of look different you know this is this is not a silencer ring that everybody talks about and truth be told, I've run turbos without the silencer ring and with, and you can't really hear much of a difference. But uh, this is something def, def, definitely, ugh. this is something definitely very different in my opinion with this little addition here. The machine work looks killer. The wheel spins freely as you guys can see. And this is a new turbo. This is not a rebuilt turbo. So this is not something somebody sent in and they cleaned it up and made it look new. This is a new actual turbo and it comes in a Garrett box. You can't see the box because it's in another box, but it does come in a Garrett box. So he's using quality parts down here. I thought this was really cool. Those of you guys that know these turbos well know that this is an O3 exhaust housing because it has the mounting point right here. Obviously I will not need this on my truck, but the fact that he sends this, I know you don't need to run a bolt down here. And truthfully, I typically only run two bolts to begin with, but 
A lot of people do run all three and prefer it that way, and there's nothing wrong with that at all. It's cool. I mean, this is just a little bit of sheet metal from what I can tell, welded up. And uh, that's kind of a neat little addition there that will allow you to be able to put this on your turbo, well, on your current pedestal that you have. So again, just something I thought was a neat little addition to this. Very nice. Uh, the turbo looks great. So very, very excited guys. So obviously, like I said, new turbo, we got a new VGT solenoid up here. Everything is looking just perfect on this turbo. Again, very, very excited uh, to run this. I just, I can't say enough good things about them. Very excited. As far as getting this and initial impressions, the second I pulled this out of the box, I was really blown away. Go check out his website. I do believe all of his turbos come powder coated. I mean, I'm sure you can opt out of it, but I'm 90% certain he powder coat is included in the price. Now, I'm sure if you ask for something kind of crazy, there's probably an additional charge to that, but I believe standard colors are included. Very, very happy with this. I think this is really gonna set the truck off a little bit, having a nice powder coated cover in there. And this probably sounds kind of lame, but I'm sad I can't show off this piece because I do think this looks absolutely out of this world as far as how how this looks. It's truly a nice looking piece. So very, very excited. 66 millimeter turbo at the inducer, which is this measurement. Those of you know that typically turbos, they well, typically, turbos get wider at the base. That's the second measurement you hear. And a lot of times if they have a third measurement, they're telling you the height of the blades as a whole. Obviously our axle over here that we had to delay the install of. But anyway, we have this super clean turbo right here. Again, just very excited about this. I hope you guys are too. This is Sunday I'm filming this. You guys are gonna see this most likely Monday because I'm gonna, only gonna edit it late Sunday night. So you guys will see this Monday. Tuesday this turbo goes in the truck. I'm actually already running a tune from truck source diesel I did uh, a lot of you guys have asked for some other tuners to try so I did go out. It's their um, SPD tune For this turbo, so I'm very excited so far I put it on so I could drive it a while and get the transmission learning it and so far I have a lot of positive things to say but before I do that review I need to get this turbo on because it's made for this turbo not the power max that's on there I will say though, initial impressions, very good, liking that so far. Anyway guys, let me know what you think of this new turbo. Go check out Turbo Time USA guys. You guys know me, you guys have all seen how I drive this truck. We're gonna test the crap out of this turbo. It's gonna be put through some abuse. We are already planning on numerous drag racing events. I'm looking at dyno events, and of course we are still towing my 13,000 pound fifth wheel, all with this turbo. Now I will say this is probably as big of a turbo as you want to go with and still tow heavy. Part of what made me okay doing this with this turbo is the fact that I do have an aftermarket camshaft that helps with spool up. So I don't think I'll have any issues, but I will say this is kind of getting into the gray area. Currently they still, they do sell a 65.6 millimeter uh, compressor wheel. So just a tad smaller than this. And of course they do have, they have a towing turbo, which is a 13 blade exhaust housing, well the turbine, and that's the late 04, early 05 style that has larger, it's essentially the same size as a Power Max, just with three extra blades. <clears throat> and a 63.5 millimeter compressor wheel. So they do, they don't just do crazy stuff, they do do very practical applications as well. I'm super excited about this guys, I hope you are too, I hope I hope my excitement is coming through and just how amped I am to try this out. Again, huge, huge shout out to Turbo Time USA for supplying me with this turbo. I can't thank them enough. Guys, go check out their website. If you are in the market for a turbo, go look these guys up. I am very happy with this. So far, the craftsmanship on this, it is, I mean, it is perfect. It looks so good. 
I truly don't think pictures completely do this turbo justice as to how nice it looks. So everyone, do me a favor, go down in the description, click on their link, let them know I sent you over there. He's gonna take great care of you. He's a very nice guy, and I'm, again, just very, very thankful for their support to the channel. <clears throat> I forgot to show you guys what else came here. Now, he did send me some decals and stuff, and actually, I'm going to get a sponsorship board together for people that have helped us on our journey we get the Garrett instructions for um, install and then we also have a mounting kit here so it has a probably can't see it it has the new paper gasket up top extra bolts for O3s it has the spacers it has o-rings for all the parts so it's got everything we need here just a very nice addition to this you don't have to go buy another part yeah it's a cheap kit but at the you know I think they sell for like seven to twelve dollars on amazon and ebay so but the fact that it's in the kit already it's really really nice it's just convenient uh, a nice little extra for the money you're spending on a nice turbo i gotta say for the money spent i think you get a lot you get that little mounting kit which is just a nice hey here you go and you also are getting a powder coated cover on your custom power max style turbo so that's very very exciting stuff in my opinion anyway guys again go check them out sorry i've kind of rambled on because again i am a little amped up about this go check out turbo time usa there will be a link in their description to their instagram and their website show those guys some love and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already give this video a big thumbs up and drop those comments down below are you guys as excited as me about this turbo what do you want to see me do? Are there any specific tests that you want to see from this turbo? Again, we're going to have dyno pulls. We're going to have towing. We are also going to have drag racing. I don't know. Some of you guys that are new to the channel may not know this. I have developed a real love for drag racing, and I've only gone twice. Also, guys, don't forget, my injectors are a little small for this turbo, to be perfectly honest and i have plans to upgrade them to larger injectors a lot of you guys that have been following the channel for a while already know that but just to get everybody up to speed i wanted to include that along with a regulated return and we're going to definitely need a transmission this year because we're going to destroy this one if we don't have one anyway guys thank you again for all your support go check those guys out and i will see you guys in the next upload